<laughs> so we started out in a bathroom. And I think yeah. like weapons on we're in a bathroom. Yeah, I th it, thank you. We have a little bit of a copy. Bathroom acquired. And then they put like a big bag of Skittles in there first. And then they put a big bag of M&Ms in there. And then they put a big bag of Reese's Pieces in there. And they mix it all up. And they said, no one will notice. <laughs> Those are the kind of people uh, I don't invite to parties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just yeah, like, real. That, I was like, you're an <laughs> asshole on the deepest level. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. oh, I want a Skittle so bad. Peanut butter. What the fuck? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. That's like going knee to knee in a public restroom, right? Who does that? <laughs> who who do does that? that? Who does that? <laughs> Only wow. people whose names begin in S would do something like that. Sure <laughs> would, right? <laughs> At least that's what the rumor is. I probably should go and do that somewhere now that you said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. Send it. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> You're stuck. Yep, it's it's too late. Yeah. yeah. We, we we were all shipmates. You're new to the group. We're used to this. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> all good. No, but it's but, like it's it's this fun situation right now where actually it was it uh, like Sherwin kind of pushed Ostrava off as well. Was it us? No, it was Esther. Who who tried to lie on top of or put uh, feet up on? Yeah, uh, he never got to because he was already asleep. He, yeah, I passed out and I did my first watch on yeah. uh, Sherwin, and then I got second watch so I could be sure to not be on Sherwin when he actually yeah woke up. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly yeah so you know there's that situation right now. It's pretty much the last thing I wrote down. Like, oh no, lying on top of Sherwin. I'm not of. a boat. Yeah, we're not on water, not a so you know, you never said you're not a couch. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> True. Yeah, all right, but you you do get your long rest in that bathroom. Possibly get a little bit stinkier from the nice air in there. And it's yeah, all quiet so far. <laughs> uh, you probably, yeah, you'll smell a little. You know, it'll it'll stick to your fur probably. It'll just stay in there. Unfortunately, my bowels get a little loose when I sleep, so you know, it's fine. <laughs> well, in that case, in that yeah, it covers a little bit. All right, but we could just start where you kind of wake up after. So Astrava says, you know, I've been doing some thinking. This chamber is pretty secure. We don't all have to go die together, right? Am I awake now? If you like, if you wanna, it's it's like you know, it's it's morning. You could wake up if you wanna say you're sleeping in. You're sleeping in, but we are all like, it's okay. it's morning. Yeah. For whatever um, time zone. Or whatever it is, because <laughs> who knows what, how much what the light looks like outside. Hmm. But yeah, Strava's done. He's got his rest, and he's waiting on everybody else to wake up, or he's waking up at some yeah. point. Right? Yeah. And once he gets geared up, he'll just say, you know, we don't all have to go out there and die together. Maybe this should be more of a reconnaissance operation. And I can stay back here and be the muscle if you need me. But how would we get back here? Well, you don't go too far. Well, how far See, is too far? That's the problem. Is we don't know how this place works yet. So we're pretty sure every time we go through a portal that we just get transported somewhere random. But like, also, sometimes it works if we think yeah. real hard about something. Like if we carried something from the last room and left it in the portal, we can get back. Otherwise, it's, it's crapshoot. So you leave me here. So far, the only room that we've successfully been able to get back to every time is the bedroom. That's Why don't true. we just try it? I'll be the anchor. Well, I'm down to scout. Well, I mean, it is kind of what I'm good at. All right, well, follow me then, and I just turn <laughs> go right through the portal. Nice. Right, so you I, open uh, the door uh, and 
Okay, and I follow. Barn hers to follow. All right. Um. Yeah. Sure. And roll a d one hundred. Seven. Okay. It's like the first single digit we've got, other than one. I think. It's it's very rare, and it, this will be interesting. Thing. We'll have Ooh, to see okay. if this even works. I'll just um. For now, I'll just, you know, we'll just not uh, put Ostrava in the next room. That way we don't have to actually split, but I put down that Ostrava's waiting in this room. You could yeah. you could just take Ostrava and put him in the in the room that we're in right now and then move the player yeah. banner to the other one. That's exactly right. I should be able to just means that well they but it has to be the one down on, at the bottom where the names are and he's not actually like in the game right now oh so I yeah that. like i i would i would do that if i like could do that but right now i can't um seven that's like a long way you were 93 <laughs> uh all the way back to the other side yeah but let me just what works for oh me. Could you assign, um, uh, what the fuck as a controller, a controller of, um, Estrava's character? What the fuck is happening? Oh, we can do that. I was say, the whispering is very terrifying. <laughs> I'm scared right now. <laughs> well, the thing is, uh, nothing is going to go like, well. Yeah, no, nothing can go wrong here. Um, as you see, there's three portals in this room. You come from the one right I'm, in the back. I'm still on the, the bathroom. Yeah, oh, you're still there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I moved the player's thing, but it doesn't seem to have moved you. Oh, because I manually moved you there, I think. Oh, um, yeah, you split us before. You got to throw each yeah. of us back into the... I have no I'll idea what those whispers said. There, oh, there it is again. I'll just move you there for now, and then I can collect you on in this in this room. So there you are. I'm gonna have to shuffle you all over. Come on. All the whispers. Creepy. So there, I think we are. So now I should be able to like collect you again. Okay, do you all see the room now? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. You all come out of this portal in the back there. Okay. And we'll just, you know, make it a little bit smaller so we see a bit more of the room. I still don't... Oh, yep. Okay. Work. All right. So, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Creepy as hell. Hey. So I got a thousand magic rooms out of that and something about fate. Something about like who's going to wash his feet. We're going to, we're going to know him when we see him and like, yeah, that's some. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> great, no. great, 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 great. I'll just, you know. Say but... it automatically when we come into this room or do you actually have to like drop a file? Um, no, you can just like talk about it for like, just, we don't have to like put every, like I put this into the jukebox thing, box thing into the room and just connected it to the room. Sure. So that way it yeah. actually plays when, you know, you enter the room. It's, it's like, you know, 
just a little thing in there. It's a nice touch. <laughs> that's yeah. That's that's super dumb. So I'm gonna roll stealth. All right. Yeah, Sherwin's sure. scared as hell right now. <laughs> roll stealth. But he's trying to not look like it. <laughs> okay, Esther is kind of melting into one of the columns there. And pretty much, like, you know, hard to see for everybody. Ooh. Anybody else wants the stealth? Who goes there? There's whispers, but no, like, you know, definite answer or something. They seem to just continue. There's nothing... Nothing changes. Do they have it's, a direction? Or are they just from everywhere? All in the room. Like it's 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 coming from from all the all directions at once, from like it it's like from the shadows anywhere. Like pretty much if you don't look somewhere, that's where you think it comes from, that kind of thing. It's like it's always just slightly in your peripheral. It's like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Can I... Ventriloquist in an old crypt, or an old uh, chamber like this. There's a lot of stone to bounce sound around. Yeah, exactly. So there's, there's just the, the three of us in there, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to bless everybody. Me... Okay. Me, Esther, or... Yeah, Esther and Soren. Okay. Blessed. Nice. Well, bless you, good sir. <laughs> I feel like it's necessary right now. All right. I rolled a twenty-one on perception, trying to get a. Okay. What are you like? Are you trying to? What are you looking for? Um, trying to find the source of the whispering, and I'm also trying to see, like, you know, uh, the initial lay of the land if there's anything obvious or out in the open or like what maybe um is going on in this room just in just a general like a once over like just seeing what i can see all right um what you do see is there is an an arrow chalked onto the wall um it's you know white chalk and it looks like somebody just marked the wall here. Uh, it's it's lit, like there are shadows from all the stuff in the room, but uh, there you know there's light and just where the one um, torch is, you see an arrow on the wall. Um, it looks mostly empty. On like if you glance around and you know look pretty thoroughly at everything, it's echoey. It, like the this whispering kind of makes sense because it's there's a lot of echo in this room. It's a stone floor. There's some markings on this uh, wall here. Um, but you know, there's there's another little bit of it's, it's not visible on the picture, but pretty much right next to your portal, you also see kind of uh, somebody just ticked. Uh, like had a few tick marks it's like seven lines so somebody counted and also made an arrow because you're pretty like your perception is pretty good it looks like it might have been the same person even same material that they chalked with but you don't so see like the, the tally marks so they have like seven tally yeah. marks and then yeah you, you count seven lines that we just came through Is there anything in the direction of the arrow, uh, or maybe well, how many pillars are here? Three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight pillars. So, mm -hmm. um, can I go check out the seventh pillar? I guess. I can, or in the back? <laughs> sure, you can go there. Uh, do you want me to roll anything? But like, um, if you want to investigate it and you know, like check the pillar in particular, it'll be an investigation check. I like tap Soren's arm and I point his attention to the seven tally marks and the arrow to the right. I am right. the seventh pillar. Um, mm -hmm. And then I quietly move towards it. I would like to give him the help action on investigating that pillar. 
Okay. I'm, yes. I'm, you just kind of shove him in the direction. Sure. Absolutely yeah. terrified. <laughs> okay. I'll run. I'll do uh, investigate. All right. Um, with the help action, it's a uh, twenty-three. Yeah. Um, it's a stone pillar. Uh, it's it's nice marble. Pretty cool to the touch. You don't find any hidden cavities in it or anything that would, you know, be a good follow up to this marking on the wall. And from looking at it thoroughly, you kind of get like you also check a little bit around at the other pillars, and they pretty much look the same. It doesn't look like it's it doesn't look like it's about the pillars, as far as you can tell. There's my guess. Seven my guess. Yeah, well, my guess is that somebody is making pointing arrows to say their path they've taken, and perhaps they've tallied how many times they've come through this room. That would be my guess. That's what I would do oh, if I. This well, is seven. This is room number seven. That makes that makes a lot of sense. These rooms look pretty clean, though. Like someone is definitely sweeping and rounding here. Maybe somebody else is lost in here. It's not just us. Well, we should try to find him. And I walk to the next portal, and I'm like, "Well, you guys ready to ready to go?" Uh, think think about finding the person who has the chalk. Oh, oh that's a good idea. That's a good idea. So wait, 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 wait. Hey, should we, oh. should we get... yeah, wait there one minute? Let me go back and get a straw. I was gonna say maybe we should okay. collect that part. Move on. Well, yeah, that makes sense. I'll wait here. That sounds smart. And I go, and I go, I go right into my shell. Okay. okay cool. Cool. It makes me feel a lot better about this. So I think of Estrava and I walk back through the portal. All right. So for now, you're not in there, but we have Showin still in this room. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, like, is only Sherwin staying here? No, yeah. uh, Sorin will stay here. So so we have two people in this room, Sorin and Sherwin in this room. Sherwin's kind of going over there. Yeah, um, I'm close to Sherwin with the other portal, just in case we could escape. And I want to okay. try something that may murder me directly. But <laughs> okay. I mean, even uh, remembering what happened last time. You're going to think about that dragon. On... Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say so bad, but like I've been avoiding <laughs> mentioning that. But yeah, no, I hundred percent do want to go see that dragon again. But I'm gonna try and keep my left foot outside of the portal on this side, and like put my body and leg through the portal, thinking of Estrava. Okay. See so your can... like your, your foot isn't actually leaving the ground. Yeah, my foot isn't Nothing. actually leaving the ground on this side to see if it does stay or, you know, I might just die. All right. Um, you do that and for science. as soon as you're like, you know, more than halfway through, um, you, you kind of get, it's not like getting sucked in, but it's this very short kind of falling feeling and you just end up because you you did think about astrava right yeah when you went through true. not about dragons and stuff <laughs> no i was thinking about I mean, astrava i want yeah. to go talk to the dragon but i've been thinking Maybe about make astrava, a, like, actually make a wisdom save Shit. oh okay. <laughs> damn good i should have probably never mentioned that <laughs> i mean i said it well, first I did. <laughs> all right 15 that's not 15. bad yeah, so you kind of, you know, you, you stick to your plan. Um, okay, you go cool. through and you get back into the toilet area there. <laughs> I just uh, say, all right then. Um, yes, let's uh, get on down on down the road then. Uh, looks like this next room is uh, as clear as we can tell. Hashtag haunted as hell. Oh, yeah, ghost voices, but... Uh, that's probably nothing. All right. Um, so uh, I don't like. Um, you're you're trying to get him to come with you, right? That's like the thing. Yeah. 
for now. Um, make a persuasion check. See where that goes. Oh, wait, I thought I was just talking to him. Yeah. Oh, wait. He's not, like, he's not technically there. Yeah, but he's like he's not technically there, so we'll kind of let the dice decide if he wants to come or not in that way for now. See where that goes, and then go from there. Who's there? So persuasion check. Yeah. I'm great at these. Holy crap! I am great at these. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, you. Get into the other room, like, uh, and and tell him need to come. What does Ostrava, you know, what does he answer? Um, he says like if you don't want him to come, it's okay because you know it's still a person. What do you find? A room of whispers? He can, yeah. Come back when you find something interesting. <laughs> so, he, he doesn't seem uh, to want to come. Like, and then you're I trying. Turn around and, like, I think of them real, real hard. <laughs> Not the dragon. All right. I need to find my friends. <laughs> okay. I my friends. And I okay. Again. Okay. I think I'm sure I'll say because, you know. He probably went through the next portal without me. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see about that right now, yeah? Um, okay. Let's have to write... That we're all together again. Um, okay. Let me see. Uh, what did you two do in this room? I sat there in my shell, like, I'm looking at the floor, yeah. like, why did someone need to wash their feet? These floors are clean as hell. Yeah, and they are. Like, they really look quite nice and, you know, not as dusty as you might expect Expect at this point. You know, sure. Just kind of in your shell there. Sure, and, you know, I know you haven't been here very long, and, you know, I haven't been here very long either, but I feel like these floors should be more dusty. Well, we did get to the room that there was, like, servants and stuff going in and out. And we did see the attendant, not, I guess not attendant. I'm guessing it was an unseen servant spell of some sort changed the candles out and stuff when we were in the bedroom. So we know that something is keeping this place running. My thoughts exactly. Well, you know, I'm just, I'm just wondering, you know, I hope Esther makes it back here okay. Yeah, me too. I'm me too. I'm hoping that um, can I see from where I'm standing here beside by Sherwin? Can I tell if there's a portal like right down there? I'm like standing right by there, right? Yeah, exactly. They're just right next to. Like you do also see a slight shimmer from the door that's like down the stairs and then just kind of below you. Do I see any more chalk marks on the walls that w we wouldn't be able to see from our perspective looking at the picture? Like, is there any chalk marks going down the stairs? Um, no. If you, like, if you want to, do you want to search this area a little bit? Like, just from looking? Doesn't look um, like this, but you could check. I want to be conscious of the fact that, like, I stepped into a room and got thrown fireball in my face. So... <laughs> I want to stay close. I want to basically do the same thing that I did in that situation. Is if things go sour, I want to grab Sherwin and jump to the portal, right? Just like we did before. So that's where my thought is, right? So I'm probably not going to veer too far away, other than a couple steps. I, I'm just trying to see if there's anything I can see from like around the area I'm at. Okay. Uh, let me just, yeah. Um, you mm, make a perception check because this is like you know a little bit. It's kind of like there are some areas here that are pretty dark, but as long as you like, you know, it's only half of the room that's kind of lit. I'm not great at those, as yeah. so we'll see if it works out for me that way. Not it's not too bad. 
far as you can tell, um, there are no more chalk marks or any signs of anything that's similar to that. Looks like the only actual, you know, marking anywhere is actually on the wall that's between the two portals on the top of this, yeah. like, the top floor. <laughs> Yeah, then I would I would wait fairly confident that the arrow is pointing from this portal to that portal. So yeah, it it does does really look like it, and you kind of get the idea that somebody counting how many times they passed by is probably pretty accurate. Accurate, like it looks like that. Yeah, you know, it's what... like you know, chalking I... right next to the uh, the portal before going through makes sense. And the arrow just, you know, to remind themselves of the direction would make sense in some way. Oh, you know what? Actually, um, if we're waiting here, can I write on that wall? You could absolutely try. Like, what do you want to write with? I, does my quill work on any surface? You could light a torch and then put it out and use the charcoal. As you, like, you you know, you go through your bag and kind of look at what you have that you could write with. You notice that this file of ink that you found. Did you notice that this file of ink Ooh, that you also had your cutting board with you? It's it's not there. Like, you you know you had your cutting board. It's your cutting board. But it's gone. Oh. Sherwin, did you, uh, have you seen my cutting board? Well, no, 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 I, I can't really fit it in here. I got my bag and that's, that's about it. Are you but, missing anything? I appear to be missing a few things. Oh, well, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's, Let's see. And I uh, hop up out of my shell and look in my bag real quick. Yeah, you look, it looks like you have your stuff. There's nothing missing that you can tell. You no, know, I got every, I do miss my blanket. <laughs> yeah, you do miss that. <laughs> but I, I, don't, uh, I don't think I'm missing anything else. Um, for, for rations. A voice says from down at the bottom of the stairs. Trade what for what? Chalk for rations. Oh, I'm not in need of chalk. How's it, uh, who is that? Chalk or rations. Sherwin, do you hear that? You just hear uh, it out of the shadows, and it's, you know, a different uh, kind of not well, whisper now. <laughs> I mean, I do have a ration here. Do you, are you hungry? And I put my, uh, I put a ration out there next next to me. All right, yeah, yeah it kind of sounds like from the shadows, like, below the stairs. If you put it in that direction, there's now a pouch of rations. Pretty much okay. at the top of the stairs. I don't know how I could be hidden down there at the bottom of the stairs because there's a torch burning. It looks like right there's, by Yeah, right. but none of them. If you like, I, I, what I would imagine you would be hidden where, like, just about here. Like that, that, that works actually. Yeah, I'll have to get ahead. Because start. none of them would see you if you were just behind the pillar and also down below, but not right in front of the portal there. Talk I would chalk. say that Just I did more. get a 20 on perception. Now, I am a cat, so my ears are... Yeah, you are, but you also yeah. went, like, away and then back again. And, you know, uh, you re-entered the room. Toss a piece Wait, of chalk up now? to the top of the stairs. Okay, so there's a piece of chalk kind of being hurled up the stairs. Yeah, you, you, you would be, you know back by now you're kind of entering at, at about this time the two were you know checking theirs yeah you're you, you know you come in make some noise 
but I the other like, ninja roll in the stealth mode and yeah and a bit. yeah it's something <laughs> like that it, it's you know you're still a cat it, it's not like it doesn't make a ton of noise but your weapons kind of clatter and it doesn't look graceful as you intended the other the two now notice two things there's this chalk flying up the stairs and at the same time pretty much esther is doing the best face plant ever uh, okay astrava's not coming <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, whew, yeah, nothing happened here. Don't worry about it. What's Nothing's happened here? here either. It's just terrifying. <laughs> I'm ready to go. We have, uh, we have a guest. Man snatches some rations up real quick from the, the bottom of the stairs. All right. Oh, my. Um, you're all kind of looking, I guess, at least Sherwin and Soren, but probably Esther too, because you'll, you know, you will notice a little bit. Uh, you can all make perception checks and see what you see. Like there's something very quickly happening. 18 is really not bad. I got good peripherals. We have two 18s. So yeah, describe what the sheet. Oh, okay, so that'll get me. Uh, yeah, they. Um, it's a little nasty green goblin with a bucket and a short sword. Um. I should have been talking through my teeth because he's got a dagger in between his teeth. Um, and he puts some rations into his bucket full of many other things um, and creeps a little bit closer down towards the portal. <clears throat> Maybe get out of sight around that corner since they're all looking down the stairs at me. <clears throat> Can I... Can I, yeah. can I roll down that drop right there? Not down the stairs, but like... Yeah, sure. Down the... I mean, you're a cat. <laughs> well, I'm... No, I'm... Yeah. I'm a turtle. You're, you're, yeah, you're a turtle. Yo, you can even... Yeah, you can just slide down on your back, probably. And just, you know, push yourself over there. <laughs> That's what you're trying and to I, do. I draw my bow and I aim and I'm like, up. Oh. State your business. <laughs> okay. Uh, shit, guys. Actually, uh, I need to pause for a second. There's a gunshot come from my uh, my folks' house next door. I'm gonna see what's going on real quick. Yeah. Oh, all right. Do that for sure. Yeah, yes, please. One hundred. <laughs> we will wait. This is important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so Good offended. You're gonna tonight. investigate a gunshot. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was, I'm pretty sure I've been playing in a game with Brandy where I was like, there was a gunshot outside. I'll be right fucking back. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. When you live oh, in the hood, wow. you live in the hood. You know it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> yeah. From the ghetto. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, back hey, to where we began today. <laughs> pretty can, much. Can we in any way lower the volume on the whispers or yeah, stop the I, stop the repeat i can, I can just it, yeah i can just stop again. them it's again to you yeah i'm just sitting here i'm like oh starting what again. do they exactly say can i roll a check for i haven't been able to figure out what they say i i was actually <laughs> writing it down it's, it's hard to understand like it's really it's meant to be hard to understand and it, I, I think i succeeded in that way um, so far, it's like something about washing feet and something about a thousand rooms. So I feel all like of it's that like is correct. Describing this place, but there's something that we need to wash their feet, and that's what I haven't gotten out of this yet. <laughs> yeah. So um, let me check what your perception checks. The last ones are pretty good. Like uh, Saren will probably have a lot of trouble figuring it out, but the others can tell you. I will um, say the first time I got in this room, I did get a 20. And the first time you probably did get it, exactly. So it's who who goes there in one voice. It sounds like it's a little bit of, it's a little different. It's hard to tell, though, because it's whispers. Um, then So it's who goes there, visitors. Do they know who they've come to see? They will know him when they see him. Who will sweep the halls, which is a good, you know, thing to ask in this room whoever takes up the broom who will wash their feet whoever who is meek and who will set watch the master in his keep and what lies in between a thousand magic rooms oh, let's see if okay. I can so like this is talking about the in game shit 
We need to go see Probably the master. Clues about how to get there. In there. I'll post it for you. Just a second. I'm just trying to get to the master's keep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what you hear. And it just keeps... Like, there's breaks in between. But it always keeps repeating. What kind of Skyrim NPCs are in here? <laughs> On the rail, though? Alright, here's something that I don't get. All right, so scary. these hundred rooms, there's a certain thing that we need to do within these hundred rooms to get to the next chapter, correct? There are several ways to get to the next chapter, yeah. We're just dumb. No, it's not that. It's, it's like, it's difficult. You either, you're kind of lucky and just get to the right places and then kind of say, say the right things, that kind of thing. Um, you... Technically, you've seen like this huge, thick, massive gate at the beginning, like when you kind of crash landed here. It was a huge gate. Technically, if you could open that in some way, which you definitely cannot with, you know, normal human, turtle, or whatever strength, or, you know, cat strength, <laughs> it's, it's not going to open. <laughs> There's, you know, you could try to open that. What I'm hearing you say is that we need to kill the dragon. <laughs> there is a dragon that you no, haven't we actually should ride with? the dragon. Why are we riding the dragon? We should kill because the dragon. He's my friend. Oh, you're trying to make friends with the dragon. That makes sense. Yes. I speak draconic, friend. and they're usually. I speak not draconic as well. Well, dragons are yeah. usually not in my experience. So that's just okay. Just let well, me just... give you a little insight to where my character is going. Especially the... definitely going to be a Drake Warden Ranger. So I mean, this is why I'm saying the dragon is my friend. Yeah. <laughs> this dragon's... Like, I have been studying dragons my entire character's life. Like, that's what he his focus is on, is dragons. Yeah, so, so that's kind of the... <laughs> yeah. I'm just a guy in a robe. <laughs> <laughs> Like, for my character, dragons are 100%, like, the focus the of best. his whole, like, thing. He loves dragons more than anything else, and he thinks that they're the best. Yeah. Like, That's why he like was, all like, of them? Talk to this dragon. Not all of them. Some of them are assholes. But some of them are assholes. Them. I mean, this one looked pretty black. He was chilling, dude. He didn't kill us on sight. So, you well, know, I mean, didn't, yeah, it, like it didn't do a lot. He just kind of just looked, you know, at us looked at you go. and kind of watched you carefully as you moved from one portal to the next. Yeah, we didn't do anything to make him upset in any way. You said, no. hey, we're just going to go here. And yeah, the rest of us ran I mean, there to was the other door in this room. Like you, you did see that he was kind of sitting on a horn. <laughs> And yeah, that's his. That, so maybe that's you know. his. He the earned that. Suitcased me before I could actually get a conversation. That's <laughs> that is true. Yeah, he totally did. I was just like, "Yeah, hey, actually, so what's your?" Oh, yeah. <laughs> it could have been like the first time you split the party. I think <laughs> that was right before the first time we split the party. <laughs> yeah, but it could have been earlier because I was like, okay, is he going to stay in here and the others just go? I was go? 100% going to stay in there if Astrology <laughs> yeah. yanked me out by the car. Mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, you guys, I'll be there in a minute or I'll get eaten. Either way, you know, it's a yeah. good way to go out. Eaten by a dragon, I'm in. <laughs> Not the worst. Yeah, it's definitely... You better know. than getting TPK'd by skeletons. Yeah, 100% <laughs> better than that. <laughs> that is very true. Or we it's... kill the dragon, take its hoard, and then you get one of the eggs. Loot. <laughs> or we befriend the dragon, it gives us its hoard, and then we get the eggs. <laughs> and the eggs. I'm just saying. I and don't we know. Just, we just with nothing? I don't think that dragon's going to go for that. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's I how dragons know. work. I'm pretty there sure is exactly one way either. to find <laughs> out. 
There's only <laughs> I knew I was gonna say there's that, one there's way. There's only one way to find out. Like I got this chain mail. I'll leave this here. And we'll just take whatever you got and you know, you start a new fancy hoard. Come with chain us. hoard. And there's this big skeleton thing that you should probably have a conversation with, with, you know, <laughs> your death breath. And um then he was talking carry bad shit about you. The skeleton dragon. with fire in its chest was talking mad shit about dragons. I heard him. You you didn't wouldn't believe I can't even repeat the things that he said. They're that oh, bad. It, it was so bad. I'll take a level of bard and then I'll I'll use vicious mockery to <laughs> but like as like quote, right? Like this isn't from me. This is from the skeleton. This is, this mm-hmm. is what he said. This is what uh-huh. he said. Yeah. This is mockery. So, and yeah, then... we're gonna go back and hang out with this dragon, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Sherwin hey, would, would actually just like, like look back and forth at you guys and be like, Well, it's not what he said. I don't think he said that. <laughs> I totally see Sherwin being like, "What are you guys talking about?" That's yeah, he, yeah, you he guys are. Kind of all. He just started throwing fireballs. Yeah, you guys are being very dishonest right now, and I don't know if I appreciate that. You've been in my crew for how long? <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, I I was. I was under decks a lot, you know, healing up the people that were wounded and those sorts of stuff like that. You know, I didn't do much of the uh, sitting up in the captain's quarters talking about, you know, all the adventures we were going on. We just went and saw some dragons sometimes and people would get burned and stuff like that. I'm so sorry. We ran away from those dragons, but this one... (laughs) <laughs> it's gonna be our friend. Your parents good, Doug? Maybe we're fine. Uh, but is a possum dead? For a moment, because uh, I I got a call from my stepdad, and he was like, "Come down here," and I was like, "Oh shit!" So I ran down oh, okay. there, and we've got a neighbor, but that lives behind us. It's an old family friend, and um, he had posted some suicidal stuff the other day. Mm. Oh, yep. So. They stuck me with going in the house to check on him. His Shout back out. door was unlocked. I yelled for that dude eight times and he didn't answer and it freaked me the fuck out. If anybody oh, needs help, really bad. reach out. So I'm going to. Someone's there for you. Step away for just a few minutes and have a cigarette and then I will be right back. All righty. I'm so sorry for delaying the game like this. It's all okay. No, it's all good. It should happen. Real life. Yeah, okay. it's it's this thing with life, exactly. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I really get the feeling that you will be back with the in in the dragon room at some point. This is Possibly, literally all the no. I was thinking about the whole time either. So like, I'm taking second through the portal. For the yeah, portal, if you go like, first, we will do like, this. Yeah. The main thing on my character's mind is like, there's a dragon here. I'm gonna go talk yeah. to him and figure out how like we can make this work. Like, mm-hmm. it's that's the phone be number interesting. We'll for the just suicide have to watch. If you ever go through the portal first, we I, I'll remember the wisdom check because yeah. Well, yeah, you kind of have an agenda now. now. If but you like, need something, in the forefront of my mind the whole time. Like as soon as we, yeah. someone's like, there for you. I was just like, as soon as we're like we're playing today, Promise. I was, like sat down. And I was just like, I wonder if I'm gonna see my dragon friend today. <laughs> well, maybe you he's will. He's not a big talker, but he's a strong silent type. He's cool. If playing D and D helps you, join us on Discord. You don't gotta That's follow really, us or nothing. Really nice though that we at least you know, but got, you know, got into one room. That's actually very if you do. fitting in that way. We'll you get into you. a lot of weird rooms, though. This one's oh, one of yeah. those where, you know, I just figured, because it says whispers on the page, and I was like, okay, let's make some audio. Get that in there. I was hoping that my character could make best friends, like, best friends, 
with 12 foot tall skeletons with fires in their chest. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> of the two of these so things, Hulk it was a character goal. Tried to kill us. I'm pretty <laughs> sure my background lets me uh, be friends with fire skeletons. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. It, it was honestly, yeah. It was sure. a character creation. It was just, it was something yeah. I might have brought up. I'm not box. sure. <laughs> all right so here's the thing we're gonna do one two three break this i'm gonna go talk to my dragon friend you talk to your skeleton friend and then we'll meet up back in Estrava's room and we'll see who gets there exactly. sure exactly we just need to gather the gather the homies and we'll be right back we'll deal with some whispers we'll meet the new guy and we'll have like a crew that we can roll yeah on. Well, well the new guy's back hi new guy <laughs> Okay. Well, well, hi there, little Mister. Uh, why you got a knife in your mouth? To kill with. Well, to kill with, that's not very kind. Is there lots of things in here that y you've you've killed? What are you paying for the information? Oh, well, I I mean I well I don't know. I suppose well, I just I could, uh, just not let go of this arrow. Well, there's and that, I suppose. And I'm just like full drawn bow right at you. Well, <laughs> Esther, I'm just I'm just telling him that it's not very nice to to kill people. So do we get an initiative roll if I decide to jump in that portal before he can let an arrow loose? Um, uh, except Sherwin's behind you. We, if you like, if you want to like, uh, if we want to do it like that, we should probably just roll initiative. See how that goes. I'm super and fast. Then go from there. I'm just asking you to state your business. I'm the fastest, <laughs> fastest oh, on yeah, the block. <laughs> yeah. So he's yeah. got shifty orange eyes. They they dart over to the portal. They dart up to the arrow. And he starts to run for it. Okay. Uh, Before, like so, Esther, what's Esther's? Esther's is twenty-one. The so the arrow he will. Runs and not fights. I'm not yeah. sure. Uh, <laughs> since he runs and not fights. I no, he 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 tries like what you see because it's you know you're you're waiting, and you're waiting to see what he does, and he seems to just try to dive uh, right past Sherwin. Feline swiftness, uh, catch up to him, grapple check. Okay, so we would have a grapple check here. Um, who else has a good? Well, the next one in line would be Sarin, by the way. So, uh, oh, yeah, athletics, try to grapple him. Uh, athletics or it's athletics? Or? Yeah. It's your athletics versus his versus acrobatics. his dex. Yeah. yeah. He can use athletics or acrobatics. Yeah. He, he. He. Yeah. So for he gone, <laughs> he good. gone. Yeah, the goblin just kind of just you know wiggles out of your grip. You try to grasp him, and he just ducks down, Do gets get out of your way. Yeah, or and does somebody else get a chance to do something? Well, the oh, only sure. one that's kind of in front of you would be Sherwin, but you're also a small creature, so you can absolutely squeeze by him. And Sherwin's oh. initiative is really bad. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so there's really not anything else in yeah, the I mean, way. Right is, now. is there anything I Soren would... could do? Um, well, Soren would be the only one that, yeah, yeah, exactly, would be right after Esther. So if anybody tried to do anything, it would be Soren. But he's kind of, you know, it, he'll need to first get visual on the goblin getting out. Like Esther just kind of jumped after him. Right at I'm the just corner. Gonna, I'm just going to call to him. Um, okay. Sir, um, we could really use some information. We'll make it really worth your while. He didn't fire the arrows. No, we're not trying to hurt you. Okay. okay. I like, I'd like show claws. I was like, it could have been worse. <laughs> I can't wait to jump in the port and then I stop. What if you okay. got pain? All right. Did? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is I'm everything in here is trying to kill us so far. So. I believe between us, we have things to barter with. Um, perhaps we can find some kind of arrangement. I, mean, it's, it, I have a feeling you've been here a bit longer than we have. I pull out my chain mail. Like, I got I this. 
chain mail for the goblin. Yeah, I got this. Will this help you? Take a look at it. Mm, too heavy. Well, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it is pretty heavy for a lot of people, you know, and I don't really need it. You know, I have my shell and I got my other, my wife's shell right here and I use that for my shield and, and I just kind of go on and ramble like Sherwin does. Mm. All right. Stupid. Look around <laughs> and see what else anybody else is offering. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to like ask any of the others? Like you can pretty much just, you know. Kind of I leave can, him standing uh, where he is. <laughs> I can help you get more food. Food, food, good. Well, I will. I will tell you the secret of getting as much food as you want, if you'll answer some questions for us. Like, oh, I got some marmalade, and I pull out my little jar and dunk my hand in. Getting pretty empty right now, but you know. Is there still some in it? Well, I, I filled like it up. Hurt. I filled it up with. Uh, oh yeah, you did fill it up with. A cider. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just oh, nasty oh, cider yeah. marmalade, marmalade juice. Oh, nice. <laughs> that yeah. I just, well, you know, kind of sweet. Pull it out into my hand and be like, "You want some of these?" Tasty. Yeah, I have. So. I haven't had breakfast either. I'll share it. And I like out on the other side of my hand while he's like going at it. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, so I, I dump half of it on me as I drink up whatever's left and uh, wipe my mouth and go, what do you want to know? Uh, are you made the tallies on the wall? No. Did you trade the chalk to the person who did? What's that? I said, were you the one that gave the chalk to them, the, the person who made the tallies? Nope. And as I say that, I walk up the steps to see if I can get my chalk back if no one claimed it. Doesn't seem to have, like, I don't think anybody picked it up, yeah. Okay, put it back in my bucket. Yeah, that's that's fine. You can keep your chalk. And I'll, uh, with a flourish in my hand, I'll actually summon my magical quill. It appears as, like, a silver feather in my hand. Mm. Uh, and then I'll dismiss it and have it disappear. All right. Um, how long have you been here? Hmm. Many moons. Where'd you come from? I have. I've only been here. I guess uh, not even a moon. <laughs> it's been like two moons, cause I you I showed you the bed, and then we you know we slept here. You slept here twice, yeah. I I know I know I slept on the bed. How... He he actually yeah. didn't sleep because he had just yeah. got here. Yeah. I slept. Yeah, exactly. I slept in the bathroom. You did sleep once. Yeah, you have I'm one that thinking, slept once. Uh, I'm thinking he was probably talking about cycles of the moon is where my brain immediately went, as opposed to okay. the uh, uh, opposed to nights. So. Mm -hmm. Found a way out yet? No. Do you have any insight on on how to find a way out? Big doors. Oh, I got hey. it. I found a door right here, and I turn around and walk through the portal. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> so everybody else is on top of the stairs. I think the only one that's kind of having a visual on you yeah, is Fringy. Right next to him because I and, went downstairs. Oh yeah, you went downstairs. Okay, so somebody sees you I, like, going just down. Roll that's what my I... eyes, and I'm like. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> Sherwin did it again. All of us, I guess. And I okay, so you tell the others. No. Yeah, All right. I'll, I'll look back at the, our new friend and I'll run down the stairs going, sorry, I, I have to follow my friend. Um, if you want to know more, follow us. Okay. All right. Sherwin just talking about the bed is thinking only of the bed. You only you think know? of the bed? Yep. Of course you are. What else <laughs> are you thinking of? <laughs> Um, that specific bed or a bed? No, that's my uh, bed. That was my question, yeah. <laughs> that bed? Well, I was thinking of a comfy bed. A comfy bed. Nom, 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 nom. Let me think about it. Do you get back to your room? If you just think about a comfy bed, let's be... 
let's have this. Let's let's say I was wondering if there was another comfy bed. All right. Let's say you get to. Oh, that'll be interesting. You have your like. Okay, we'll do that. This will be interesting. I'll put you all. I hope this works now. Oh, do you have to like collect the people in the same room they originally came from in order to like put them all together into rooms again? Is that how it works? If you take That's if you good. take their little picture on like the the map drop down mm -hmm. and drag them to the player banner, then they go back that into the banner. Too? Mm -hmm. All right. Because then I do that. Otherwise, you'll have to keep moving everybody separately the whole time. Yeah. In this case, it's not that bad. But I'll try to make it work. See if that works. In there, in there, in there, and the last one. Okay. Let's say you go here. Oh, it's dark. Cringy can it's see. Dark. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you will see some stuff. It's just because oh, I got messed up the lighting. Um, so there's a room. Your boy does not have there dark vision. Bed. There's also some light in this room, so you should be able to see. Okay. The thing is, there's goblins in this room. I'm gonna make you oh. a little bit smaller. Sorry, Esther. The whole room is me. Yes, it is. <laughs> I, I am room. <laughs> I am room now. Trick of, trick of this place. <laughs> I am room. <laughs> all right. Um, you enter this room. You all followed him, actually, which is nice. And there are three goblins in this room. One of them, uh, right in the back here, is hopping on a bed. There is a bed in here. Oh, a bed. Um, that a goblin is jumping up and down on. And then there's two more goblins. Just one is actually like he took a cushion from the bed, a pillow, and just, you know, put it on the, like, he seems to be picking it up right now. And looks a little bit like he's in a pillow fight with the guy on the bed. And the third one is just kind of running around this one column. And well, it looks like they're having a pillow fight in this These room. guys look like they know how to party. <laughs> I, like, stop and I, like, look at our new guy. I'm like, so, uh, you want to talk to him? They're stupid. You should kill them. And, like, you come Ooh. in, you kind of get that much out. They turn around and look at you and start like a little war scream thing in Goblin. I shoot the first one nearest to me. Ah, and I just scream back. First. <laughs> this is going to be initiative. I'll actually put the Goblin So fast! I am speed. <laughs> speed itself. I like you okay, have a minus... Point nine two, and I don't understand how that works. It's well. It's, um, that's because your uh, your dex gets added in or subtracted in that case. Yeah. Why so. Two, so I have a negative one to my initiative modifier, and yeah. my dex score is eight. So. Uh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yes. Yep. That makes sense. So that way, like, if, if uh, someone has a higher deck score than me, but still gets the same role, then they'd go before me. All right. So, yeah, the I'll, I'll just roll initiative for the goblins, I guess. Are they all regular goblins, or is there some... You can't really there? tell. Like, right now, what you see is... Um, I mean, they don't look, you know, the healthiest, or, you know, they're not arm to the teeth. The one on the bed is kind of just looking like he's actually grabbing one of the pillows. Like, you know, they're not armed in any way that you can see. I just, you know, took regular goblin tokens for this one. But yeah, it looks a little bit like 
they could technically maybe uh, like use stuff in this room. They look like goblins. As of right now, it's it's hard to tell, but they seem to be kind of, you know, your regular goblin as far as you can tell. There's no sign of them being something else. This one gets another initiative. <laughs> it just looks great. I have like, wow. Oh, I forgot to click on my guy. My... That's that's fine. Oh well, we'll yeah, I didn't click on mine either. Sorry. Wow, at least the goblins what, get really good initiative. <laughs> yes. It's not a net 20, but it's still really good. Um, Yeah, so let's see. I was sure I was going to go first. I was going to try and talk them down, but now at least I'll be sure whether or not they're bad at or they're assholes or not. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, All right. Well, let's see. I so, would technically be behind Sherwin, correct? I am the fir I was the first one that walked in. Yeah, you sure. were the exactly. Sherwin was the first one. You were directly behind, so that would be uh, the thing, I guess. That Cringy would have been the last one to go through if, like, Soren just really went into the portal kind of quite quickly. So yeah, that would be the order of things. But the goblins start, and they just see you, and they will attack. And the one closest to you, like this one right here, or, you know, this one in the picture, um, will, like, he's just about, like, 10 feet from uh, Sherwin. He'll just pretty much randomly attack you. And he kind of has a, it looks like a broken piece of wood in his hand that, like, he, he, just picks up it's like probably from a shelf or something it's it's definitely furniture um and he comes at you and tries to you know club you <laughs> we'll see how that goes bring it out um, we can get some new hirelings that's this one though oops where's my goblin there's my goblin so but i'll do this damage We'll see how that goes. Oh, 19. Oh, 19, 19 is two? my armor class. That yeah, hits. just just about does. Um, so that's because I did the wrong. Like he's not got the exactly right damage for this one. It'll be a D4 plus two. Oh wow, he just did something completely different. I uh, hope he doesn't do 40. If he does. That's a one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. It, if he does yeah, 49 yeah. damage, I'm um, dead, guys. That's three damage. <laughs> three. <laughs> three. I can take, take three. three. Yes. Uh, he's now right in front of uh, Sherwin. Wow. That didn't feel very and, good. Uh, so that's, that's like the first uh, goblin there. The other one uh, right behind him, that the one with the pillow, that's this one. Also, uh, I got kind a of, on my initiative. it tries to get in exactly, but as he starts running, we'll have you first. I'll actually have to get your initiative right, though. It didn't count it. Oh, and do we have two? No, we don't have two Shermans in it. Okay. Uh, no. We don't have no right. Sherwins. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> he'll, he'll be there for a while. I'm gonna uh, die before yeah, it's my turn. Go first. So first, Goblin did his thing. All right. And so the other one is starting to run up. Yeah, he's kind of, you know. Okay. So the one back here. Sure. Go for it. Looks like he still has a little bit of, you know, they look like regular goblins, basically. Thirteen to hit. 13 does not hit. Ooh. It's a little bit like he's small and very, very, just very quickly ducks out of the way. Just kind of drops to the floor almost and then gets up again and just laughs in your direction. Like, just does this, ha! Sir, That's sir, all he does, though. Fuckers. 
There's Anything two else you want to do? In a row that got out of my grasp. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just go straight up the wall ten feet. Okay. All right. So we have Esther on the wall. Um. So that goblin that you just shot at is actually not like he sees you go up the wall and he's like, okay, I'm gonna go get the easiest target and they'll just kind of bunch up on uh, Sherwin. Standard. <laughs> of course. Um, as I said, this one doesn't actually have a weapon. He does drop the pillow. He doesn't actually like try to beat you with a pillow. It just goes for a punch. So we're gonna have to see if that... Wow, 18, that's not bad, but it doesn't hit you, right? Should have brought the pillow. <laughs> Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, he just goes for a punch and just like, ow, oh, my knuckles. And just, it's you know. Like, oh, shit, that's a whole lot of shell. That's a hard <laughs> so that's all he's going to do. He just, you know, doesn't have that much. He's, he doesn't have enough movement to actually get away from you. And oh, they're all kind of God. going, like, trying to punch up on you. A turtle person, pride fighter, boxer. <laughs> the shoulder rolls and stuff with a turtle person would be super fucking hardcore. Yeah, and you <laughs> roll that one, one and then you can't get up anymore. <laughs> like, not shoulder rolling, but, you know, getting stuck on your shell. Fall no, like the shoulder roll for a boxer is like where they lift their shoulder yeah. up so it protects their jaw. Yeah. But for a turtle person, that would work. just be straight shell. <laughs> like, so, like somebody try to catch them with a hook they just roll their shoulder up and just get caught yeah. the shoulder just like oh broke my hand okay I'm just turn for Esther, though. okay so the next one up is just have to put Esther so, in the right order so Esther is here. okay and for whatever reason they have the lowest goblin down there okay the two goblins went Esther went so it's uh it's Soren's turn. We have you twice in here, but that's fine. I'll just if it's the seven that's the sixteen for now. Fifteen right now. It's a fifteen right now. Okay. So yeah. It's Esther's go. Uh yeah, Soren. Sorry. Esther just went. No problem. Um, I am going to just target this guy right here with a firebolt. So I'll we'll flourish okay. my hand over my Spell book, and I will launch a firebolt straight at this guy. We'll see if I hit. Ooh, I think I hit. Oh, yes, you do hit. <laughs> you absolutely do. If not, I'm walking right back through this portal again. A little, oh, what point of damage? Ooh, just little cute, it's a little cute little bit of fire that just shoots out. It's adorable. All right. I'll just give this one a color for now so I can, like, uh, distinguish who got which. Damage. I just got a cigarette burn. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like, okay, you know, it's just it's been a it's been a it's been a bit of a of a day, okay? I was like... too drunk, I tried to hit the cigarette backwards. I'm not saying <laughs> that personal experience or anything, but it doesn't feel good, but it's not life ending. Exactly. So anything else you want to do? Do you want to move anywhere or you know um... anything else? No, honestly, I'll stay where I'll stay where I'm at. Okay. All right. Can okay. I get attack in. Um, you can like it's it's all up to you who you want to attack. Actually, like I'm just gonna put the turn order over there. Um, you go like every all the goblins just attack Sherwin pretty much, and mm -hmm. the others kind of, you know. One one guy, this this goblin here, just got hit a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm going to try to use the confusion. Okay. Uh, this one over here is not dead by any means because he just you got know. a secret burn and that was he about He kind of it. got stung, yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's the goblin that was back here, isn't it? Yeah, it's the, exactly. It's the pillow goblin. The orange one is the one with the, like, like the, that had the pillow yeah. and the blue one. Like the blue, blue dot one is the one with the like chair leg or whatever he had. Yeah, so I'm gonna come up, stealth up onto his flank in the confusion. 
All right. Make an attack with advantage to try <laughs> to... does not see you, yeah, and also advantage anyway. <laughs> I'm going to try to slit his throat. Yeah, that absolutely hits. <laughs> and I have to roll the double damage myself. Plus. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'll just, just roll for damage again, so... <laughs> That's a one minus one. That's a one still. It is still oh, a one. Shit. So I forgot my bless. So it was five oh, points yeah. of damage. And um, when I pull it back to try to cut its throat, I say, Oh, I need to roll for bless. Betrayed me, fucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the bless is actually because the duration is like up to one minute right and you didn't like stay up there very long like in the last room so i guess it would still be up a little bit um so yeah what's the total damage on that then it's five five right because we yep. just have that all right so you hit that goblin and like you hit him very like square in the back and he doesn't die but he's very close to death like he he feels that one he just screams out he's like ah! Ah! and then kind of gets into a coughing fit and it looks hard hopefully i'll finish him off next round i'm glad he's alive to know it was me uh, at least he got <laughs> to hear my voice in his ear <laughs> all right so um yeah that would do you want to like move anywhere else you'd probably still have some movement left pretty much i really think i'd rather keep him between me and the other goblins all right yeah makes sense <clears throat> okay oh you're also still double in here um that mm -hmm. finishes your turn i'm still gonna have to go through that way um now this other goblin that was just, you know, jumping on the bed and <laughs> having a good time. Um, he's, he, he sees all that and he's just about close enough. Well, he can't actually get to many of the others. He'll just, yeah, they'll just all bunch up on Sherwin. Bring it on. Where, like, is Soren just standing? Yeah, but Soren is behind Cringy. And then we have Esther on the ceiling, so he'll he'll try to go for Cringy. He he saw the others kind of try to, you know, hurt this turtle person. Didn't work. And he'll jump off the bed and kind of go for Cringy. So that'll be another because he also doesn't have anything that he can do right now. He'll just come in and punch you. Or try to. With a twelve. Does a 12 hit? Like, does it hit cringy? I think it's... Oh, yeah. this is on cringy. Oh, geez. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it does not, actually. I have an AC 13. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he'll, just, he'll just try to punch you. Uh, nothing. Like, you know, you're just stuck out of the way. Well, watch he'll your back just, there, little guy. Your stuff, you know, this... Um, other than that, I mean, he really wants to get up to Esther too. He kind of sees you up there, but he can't get there. So he'll just stay there and just tell the others to, you know, go get them. All he otherwise says and does. Uh, Sherwin, would you like to maybe take a turn? <laughs> you know, I was, I was patiently waiting. Uh, yeah, yeah I will take a turn. Um, I will, uh, slide my mace out of this little, little holder and just, uh, mm -hmm. whack the one that actually hit me, which was, uh, this, uh, the blue one. One, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's an 18. <laughs> 18. Yeah, that hits. That weirdly hits. Six points of damage. Six points of damage. Uh, and then uh, I'd like to be like, and bring it on, as I like go back into my shell. 
with my you bonus action. You almost get him to his knees, like he's 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 kneeling in front of you, pretty much. Just you hit him pretty hard on the shoulder, kind of, you know, straight on the shoulder, and he just kind of almost goes down. And it could have been Goblin Golf. Oh, I just, I... If you just had to hit a little bit harder, you probably would have gotten him. I can't. And just smash him to the wall. I can't go into my shell with a bonus action. I can only come out as a bonus action. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so you'll just stay there? Uh, Yeah, I'll just, uh, you know, brandish brandish my shield and uh, ride it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I still say, bring it on. All right. Uh, that's your turn, right? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, so the first goblin that's now really kind of... He wants to get somewhere, like, it's the, the orange one, this one here. Um, he sees that he did, like, somebody just hit him really hard. Uh, he will do a bonus action to disengage. And then, Wise. like, he's trying to get away. Um, and he will run just about, let me see where, is it, does he get just about here? Like, he runs away as far as he can, just passes you, and goes that way. He's and, running back um, to his pillow. Yeah, he kind of does, and just kind of, you know, very heavily breathing and very wounded, but standing there looking for something to pick up and he's looking at there's some books lying around behind him looks like he's, he's on his way there uh that's all he's gonna do though the second one the blue one also got hit very very hard um uh, all right i was supposed to go in between those two. Oh yeah you totally are it's your turn sorry um oh. which one's not wounded uh, this one here isn't wounded. I'm gonna try to shoot him in the face. <laughs> okay. He's trying to get cringy right now. Nat 20. Nine. Wow. Ooh. That so hits. <laughs> like, you can, you can tell us where you hit him. Right wow. <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> right in the face. Yeah, you pretty much just, you know, if the floor wasn't stone, you'd pin him to the floor. Like, this one is dead. Very dead. All right, it's, cool. it's not implicit in the text, but that's a female goblin, actually. Yeah. <laughs> the model is of a female goblin. A, a it's, pin her, if you want to a, check, you can go and check. It's a female. Gender neutral. I don't care what gender they are. They're still trying <laughs> to murder my friends. Opportunity yep. scare. That is one very dead goblin. I'll just do it like that for now. I'm climbing along the <laughs> the edge of the wall a little bit further in. Mm hmm Okay. All right. Anything else after, you know, <laughs> finishing one like that? No, that uh that's good for me. That's it. Okay, so now this uh call him blue goblin goes. Um he's also doing very very badly right now uh he saw what the other goblin kind of was doing he will disengage as a bonus action and run to the back here there's like another shelf well actually if i hold on me i can just kind of put him between um he goes to that shelf and uh picks up a book i thought like, he already had a chair leg oh this one does yeah but he's like dropping the chair leg for a book right but, now. But knowledge is power, knowledge Esther. Is power. <laughs> well, it doesn't look like he's trying to read it. He's just picking picking something up that he thinks might be, you know, he doesn't yeah. want to throw away his chair leg, but he can use it like a shield. I don't think yeah, he, he kind of, you know, he's the, he's the holding up the book. <laughs> he's like, he's, oh, I yeah. knowledge is power. I'm gonna use so, the book. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I got a book now. Yeah, he's he's just holding up the book right now. It looks a little bit like it might be a shield. We'll see if it does anything though. Um and yeah, that's pretty much all he'll do. So it'll be Soren's turn. 
Well, I want to take a chance at hurting one of the books, so I'm going <laughs> to cast uh, Magic Missile. Okay. And I'm going to do one at orange and two at blue. Okay. Uh, let me get the orange one. It'll be two. Mm. And then <laughs> ten, the guy with the, that's the blue guy. Wow. Um. Okay. Um, get him. Well, just how 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 would you like to kill each of them? Because that'll do it. Uh, super dissatisfied with how like insignificant the amount of damage I did last time. <laughs> I am very concentrating very hard above my spell book, and then I just like angrily lash out, and three beams just go right through their heads, just and they. Right, yeah, and the one that was holding the book kind of held it in front of his chest. It really does like you. You don't even like damage the book anything. You just kind of blow off his head. They're all dead now. Knowledge is like, power. There's no way. They... <laughs> that was too much damage. I'll do it like that for now. A better book. Way better book. Yeah. <laughs> My book is. Well, great. you can check what kind of book it is, but right now, they're oh. you know they're gone. Yeah, I absolutely want to check the books if they thought they were that important. All right. Uh, okay. It was kind of rude how your friends had uh, kind of ganged up on me there, little buddy. Yeah, it's good they're dead. Go kick one of them. Okay. Oh, well, did, they, did they take your food? Hmm. Took something. Go look at this shelf. Okay, so you go look at this shelf over there. I go straight to sure. the bed. All right. Um, okay, let's do the shelf first, I guess. And um, there are books in there. Um, you don't like you don't know what language they are or anything. You just you know they're books. Not all of them even have any writing on the backs of them. You don't know what they are, but there's a lot of them. Is it the one um, that or Esther's at. The one where Esther is, if you want to look at that one. I was just wondering where the books were. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, 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 it's both have books. This one here has a lot of books. Like this is the one that Cringy is standing in front of. And it's just really a bookshelf. There's a lot of those. Um, and it's, it's pretty much... Yeah, it, it's just a really nice collection of books. Some of them are really, really big, fat books. It's just... Do they have any also, um, gold hidden in them? Any what hidden in them? Do they have gold hidden in them? I gold. shake them to make sure okay. they have... You just kind of go and make an investigation check. Okay. Here. Come kind of, down. you know, go through some, you rip some pages out just by accident, not even trying, but some just fall out. Um, but no gold as far as you can see. If you rattle some of them, they don't, you know, it doesn't actually make a sound. Like, they don't seem to be hollow. Uh, like yeah. And to my bookshelf, and then I look over at Sora, and I'll be like, you're this one. <laughs> looks. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, uh, if, if it looks like Sherwin's taking a nap, then I'll, I can do comprehend languages and peruse through all the books. I mean, right. I just woke up. I'm just, I give him an assistance on any investigation you might want to do. I'm just testing the bed right now. I'm not really tired. I'm just want to see if the comfort level is mm -hmm. the same. Okay. Well, you kind of tested, you, you know, put a little bit of weight on, an, on the mattress. It feels pretty good. You don't actually fall asleep right when you touch the bed. Well, this bed's just not as comfortable as the other one. <laughs> yeah, sure, when magic tends to do that. Magic? What do you mean, magic? <laughs> Look, we're not... You know more about that than I do, but we're... You just, are you serious? All right, whatever. All right. I don't Here's think... The, I throw the pillow at him. 
Okay. I don't think this is a magical bed, if that's what you're saying. There's some other beds that we have been around in here that are magical beds that make you fall asleep instantly. Well, that I mean, I did get a magical night's sleep. Actually, like he just remembers sleeping. He fell asleep so quickly. He probably really doesn't remember how he fell asleep. Sleep um, on your bed best. Yeah, you can <laughs> exactly. Um, the you know, does anybody like go up onto the bed? Is this a little bit in disarray because the goblins actually had a fight in here, like a pillow fight i mean i definitely am i'm fully testing yeah. out this bed like it's it's at a mattress you know, pretty, store yeah, yeah it's it's pretty good it's a little bit old like the mattress has seen a lot of use and a lot of goblin jumping up and down on it so it's it's a little bit dirty not as fine as the last one that you went to but it is a bed. There is a pillow that somebody just, uh, you know, threw back on the bed. So you have a pillow as well. And there's a blanket that's just a bit ruffled and just goblins jumped on it. So it's it's the top of it is pretty dirty. I mean, after I after I try it out, I definitely would get off it and like make just... make the bed. Okay. Like put the pillow where it belongs. Make sure the blankets yeah. are all nice. Nice. All right. Um. So. I think is Esther like looking in this part of the room here? Oh, I just uh motioned to Soren about the the uh, books. Uh, the right? books. But I will mm. do a perception check just in general of the room. I'm not good at investigation. Okay. I'll avoid that. Okay. Yeah, I, I can investigate the shelf and stuff to see if I see anything. Yeah. Nice. Um Nice. Very nice. Um, I think that's my third one this game already. Yeah, you're, you're really, like, <laughs> Esther's being very effective. She's making up for last um, week. Nat 20 or Nat 1? That's just how I play. <laughs> it's, it's 1 or 0, nothing in between. Um, yeah. Yeah, so what you see, I'll just take the goblins out of here for now. Um, you look, you know, it's you just see everything in this room right now you do see and notice that the door that is uh in front of this portal here actually has a locking mechanism like a bolt a latch so there's a way to kind of bolt the door from the inside oh I there's one thing you notice and also it looks pretty sturdy um you also notice that this shelf that cringy just kind of you know searched for some gold basically rattled some books um, there's also a little cabinet beneath uh, the tiers of just books that he kind of didn't check yet. Um, or just, you know, he was concentrated on, on checking everything, but you see there's a little... It's, it's a little bit hidden, but you see it. Uh, and also there's some... Uh, like, just about here, there's some decanters in this room. There's three of them. They smell weird. And this this thing in the middle here is just like a, a there's a bowl. Okay, so uh I guess shutting the door isn't really that big of a deal right now because they're not being chased. I would like to check the shelf um or the drawer and do the decanters okay. like give off any type of smell, seeing as we got no cat nose. Okay. Nice. Mm, um, f there you you see it's like three kinds of liquid. They're different. They have different like colors that. and also smell differently. Um, none of them really smell very familiar to you. I think you could like, <laughs> it's it's not like it's not wine or it doesn't seem to be water either. They all kind of have an. A, an there's one that's pretty clear, but it's a, kind of an off color. So it doesn't seem to be water. It doesn't smell like much, but it also has a kind of a sweet-ish kind of smell to it. Then there's another one that is pretty, almost pitch black. Also seems to be a little bit thicker, um, but smells a little bit like, 
like you know how this like if you have carrots or something and cook them for a while they get this kind of also kind of sweet smell and they kind of th this is kind of what it rem reminds you of a little bit sweet yeah but it also you yeah, know it's, it's not the pl most pleasant you've ever smelled and then there's a the third one my purview. Yeah, the third one is, uh, if you look in it, it, it kind of looks like a muddy green-brown color and smells like meat gone bad, pretty much. It's a kind of rotten smell. No sweetness in it, though. Like, this one is almost a little bit caustic in the way, like, if, if you go too close to it, it kind of, it's not pleasant in your nose. So, you're like, you know. Back, shakes his head, makes his way over to the drawer. Mm -hmm. like, sorry, uh, that's probably more your purview. I'm not going to see about getting this drawer open. Is, okay. it, is that marmalade in there? <laughs> uh, you open this you little kind of hidden drawer. It's it's just the bottom of it. It's kind of a narrow uh, drawer that doesn't look like a drawer from farther away. Uh, but you open it, and it does just open. Uh, and you see a pair of boots in there. That are just lying flat. They're just leather boots, just made as flat as like just lying on there. Uh, oh, also, there's a quill. Looks pretty old, and some a vial of ink that's probably very dried. You can't really tell, but it looks like old, and the it it seems to be open, like it's lying on its side as well. Would the boots fit me? They might. They look just about average size. I try them on. Okay. So you try the boots. No, oh. boots. They, they, <laughs> you are. <laughs> they do fit. They fit very well, as far as you can tell. Like they feel really just, just your size. Uh, and I'll put them in your inventory. Actually, I think I have them. Yeah, I do. Let me just see. So for now... Esther is super cautious. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, let's check this out. Cool. <laughs> Take some boots. Esther has some boots. Um, Our whole body's party's like pretty that. cautious. Oh yeah, um, no, we're super cautious. Like we really do take our take, either we really do take our time and think things through all the mm -hmm. way. Or you like, just oh, put some friend, boots on. Do that. Yeah, um, you put them on, and it's you know they fit very very well, and you kind of get a slight feeling like you you should you should probably, you know, just wear them for a while. Might be a good idea. Is what you. What you know? What they give you for now? Did you get some like, new boots there, Esther? Right now, I found some. I found some boots. They fit like a goddamn charm. Let me tell you what, which is surprising because it's odd that a pair of cat feet can fit in yes. boots so well. Well, they, they, they do. Did you. You. That is true. I didn't even think of you having the little <laughs> closet claws on your little toesy woesies. I know, but these things fit just goddamn amazingly. Look, don't they look fantastic? Just I start voting. They're they're, they're very nice. <laughs> you could join the yeah. sassy leg army. Yeah, they like oh, they yeah, really yeah. just seem to shape around your foot, kind of like or pause pause actually. Um, you know, they fit very nicely. I start going around and recollecting my arrows. Like every time I go, like to reach down and pick up an arrow, I like make sure to stick one yeah. the way out. <laughs> oh, hella hard with the boots. Nice. Okay. So, uh, well, I'm not dead, so well, that's good. No, for now, it's just you know, you might yeah. need to see where this goes. You haven't had them on for like you, you know, this is two minutes in, so we'll see where this goes. Um, anything else you'd like to do for like today, because I'll need to switch over to work, but if there's anything you would like to note that you'd like to continue next week in any way, we have, um, I'm going to go lock the door. Okay. 
uh, is it a keyhole lock or just a bolt lock? Um, it's it's a bolt lock. So you just kind of you know there's a bolt and a latch for it. You yeah, can... I just latch and bolt it. Um, what is what's up with Soren in those potions in that bookshelf? Yeah, well, well, I mean, we can do that now, or we can wait till next time. It's up to up to you. <laughs> um well probably like if you you can have a look at it and what you see is it's, it's liquids of you know unknown origin you have no idea what those are um they're in there and you might you know try to identify them in some way if you want it but we could maybe start maybe with that next time if you wanted to yeah that totally works for me i can go ahead and do some uh ritual casting to identify where we uh all check right out Thanks. Yeah, okay. I'll take a, uh, I'm more than willing to do like we can short rest during this time while I play with my new boots. Yeah, that would absolutely work. It'll also help you attune to what you have on your feet right now. Um, yeah, that's 100% the reason why I said that. <laughs> I'll, be, I, I'll be evil enough to not reveal what I like, what boots they are, but I'll like, you know, you'll see next week. I'll hey, have yeah, them edit it next time. <laughs> Okay, cool. So yeah, you met a lot of goblins today. <laughs> did we uh did did we get oh, yeah. a, did we get any XP? Yeah. You you do did you do get absolutely get XP. XP. And let me just check. I think so. Oh, I just closed that. So let me open that again. It's those two, right? One of those and two of those. You get for one of them, you will have. Let me see those actually. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly as much as you need. There's like 50 between those. No, actually, it's more. It's 75. Oh, nice. 75 total. 75, yeah, for each of you. Because, you know. I'm so close. 800. <laughs> I need 75 more. Yeah. <laughs> Find some more goblins or something. Yeah, I was about to say. I found one. Let's take him out. Spells. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just revive these three and then kill them again. <laughs> wow. They were, uh, they were 25 XP apiece. Yeah. Look. So close. So close. Exactly. All right, later, guys. Yes, thank you All again. Right. Thank yeah, everybody. You guys are all awesome. I like this cringy cleans his toenails with his dagger for snacks thing. So uh, thanks for that as well. And for uh, snacks, <laughs> I didn't see the last. I one. just saw it and was like, "Oh, that's nice." <laughs> um, that's awesome. I'll leave that there for next week. That's a good yeah. way. To pick up. <laughs> I guess somebody sees that so you can talk about it. Delicious. Yeah, Destin <laughs> definitely sees that. He's a very yeah. perceptive color. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, well, that was a great end to this one. Thanks yes, for playing. It was. Yes, thank and you for running it. Hells, yeah. Yeah, and thank I hope we can much. just continue next week. Kind of fun as usual. <laughs> yes. Thanks, all of you. You guys have a good See day, you. good night. Yep. Yeah, good night to you all. Take care, guys. Bye. Good night.